Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Okay, let's begin. Good evening. We're going to start. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, here we go. I'm fine, teacher. Okay, great. Um, okay, we're going to start. Can you give me a moment? Okay, here we go. We're going to, uh, I'm going to call the attendance and uh, when you hear your name, please let me know. Braulio Heriberto Velasquez Mejia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Cesar Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Just a moment. Please. Okay. Uh, Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Doribel Arelia Riaza Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eli Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Eh, eh, teacher. Dígame. Eh, en el chat, Carlos Alberto le puso present. Uh, ok. Permítame un instante. Ok, thank you. Elia Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Herbert Tadán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Isabu Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Catherine Jasmine Guatemala Arias. Catherine Jasmine Guatemala Arias. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thank you. Um, Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. 
René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Aguilar, teacher. Aquí. Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Here, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy Lisset Carías de Cedillos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm calling those who didn't answer before. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar, you here? Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Recordemos, ¿verdad? Cuando no estamos participando, silenciar nuestro micrófono. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Presente. Thank you. Catherine Jasmine Guatemala Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Okay, let's begin. Everybody welcome, this is English Preintermedio, Modulo 3. Okay, and that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. This is session number nine, and today is June the 5th of 2023. Let's do this, okay? So the lesson objective is here. In this class, participants will learn new vocabulary related to geog geography. En esta clase, los participantes aprenderán nuevo vocabulario relacionado con geografía. Okay, veamos acá poco pequeño se mira, pero bueno, no podía ser <laughs> lo mejor que podía ser para una diapositiva. Label the picture with words from the list, then compare with a partner. Okay, so what are we going to do? I'm going to uh, point at these uh, elements in the picture, and then you tell me. Ruth Marielos, tell me, please. Uh, sorry, teacher, sin querer, uh, levante la mano. O se puede decir el vocabulario, no. The vocabulary, okay, no problem. Okay, so the vocabulary is beach. Cuidado con esta palabra, ¿verdad? Okay. Sonido es e, e, right? So you say beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain. Ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Okay, I'm repeating. Beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain. Ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. So after that, I want you to identify the words, okay? And I need a volunteer. What is, for example, what is this? Aquí donde tengo el puntero. Rebeca Abigail Calderón. What's that? River. Uh, river. Mm, no, sorry, it's not a river. It's pointing at this. Let's see. Cruz Clara de la O. Iceland. Okay, good. Okay, that's an island. Okay, letter E, island. However, uh, be careful with the... No, hablando de eso. Okay, be careful with the pronunciation. This is something that you have to do. The S in this word is mute. You don't pronounce it. So you don't say Iceland. You say island only. That's the pronunciation. Island. Island. Si usted dice Iceland, entonces está diciendo una palabra diferente, que es un país. Iceland es un país. Es Islandia. So Iceland right there. So this is island. The S is mute. You don't pronounce it. 
Okay, that's the pronunciation right there. So this is an island. Thank you very much. Braulio, Braulio Heriberto, okay. What about this one here? What is it? Braulio Heriberto, are you here? Yes, teacher, sorry. Uh, it's, okay. it's desert. Desert, it's, desert. That's, it's, a de it's a desert, that is correct. Thank you, Braulio. Jaime Adonai, what about this one right here? What is it? Is a waterfall? No, it's not a waterfall. But thank you. When did you say it's okay? Don't worry. Okay, when did he said what's this? Is river. River. No, it's, it's river. a lake. It's teacher. not a. It's not river. a river. River. Uh, no. No, it's not a river. Sorry. Okay. It's so a lake, teacher. It's, it's a lake. Okay, that is correct. Okay, this is a lake. Very good. Thank you, Wendy. Marina Esmeralda. Okay, what about this one right here? What is it? It's a volcano. No, it's not a volcano. Oh, no. <laughs> what is mountain. that? It's a mountain. Correct. Okay, it's letter G. That's a mountain. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Maravilla, what is su nombre que le aparece ahí? Han, Han, what is it? Ah, ya lo voy a, a corregir. Que siempre oh, okay. Me okay, Mr. Maravilla, uh, what about this one right here? What's that? Uh, volcano? No, it's not a volcano. Valley. Valley. No, sorry, it's not a valley. I don't know. Okay, no problem. Claudia Maria Garcia, what is this? Mountain. Uh, mountain is this one. This is the mountain, letter G. But this is different. What is that? Mm. Valley? A valley. No, it's not a valley, but thank you very much. Ruth Marielos, what's this? Hill. It's a hill. That is correct. Okay. Hill means colina. O cerro. Coloma. También. Okay, so that's a hill. Carla Abigail, what is this? River. River, that's correct. That's a river. Very good. Carlos Alberto, what's this? Oh, ocean. Ocean. Yeah, that's right. It's the, it's, it's the ocean. That's correct. Very good. Ocean. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Uh, now, Carlos, well, Carlos Alberto está conectado de dos. Braulio Heriberto. What's this? Uh, it's volcano. It's a volcano. Yeah, that's correct. It's a volcano. volcano. Sorry. It's, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Estamos aprendiendo. Okay, so volcano. Good. Uh, Jaime, what's this? Is Butter, battery, okay. battery. A valley. A valley, uh huh? No, sorry, it's not a valley. Okay. Wendy Lisette, what's this? It's a waterfall, teacher. It's a waterfall. Okay, that's right. A waterfall. Una cascada. Okay, we'll continue with Ruth Marielos. Okay, what's this right here? Is forest. A forest. No, sorry, it's not a forest. Second opportunity. What is it? Okay. Uh, no, teacher. Sorry. No idea. Okay, no problem. Carla Abigail, what is that? Uh, valley? 
It's a valley. That's correct. Okay. It is a valley. Very good. Okay. And the last one. Okay. Marina Esmeralda. What is this? Forest. It's a forest. Okay. That's correct. Okay. That's a forest. So you have all the words right there. There's the beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, river, ocean, river, valley, volcano, and waterfall. Okay. That's right. Very good. Give me a second. Okay. So now that we have the vocabulary, okay, uh, I just want you to repeat in your house, okay, with the microphones off. Quiero que repitan en su casa, pero con el micrófono apagado, ¿verdad? Para que no nos sintamos cohibidos. Okay, so um, vocabulary. Let's practice the pronunciation. Beach. Beach. Desert. Desert. Forest. Forest. Hill. Hill. Island. Island. Lake. Lake. Mountain. Mountain. Ocean. Ocean. River. River. Valley. Valley. Volcano. Volcano. Waterfall. Waterfall. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? Alguna duda sobre alguna palabra de la lista de vocabulario? Marina. Sí. Teacher, vea que la pronunciación con desert de, de postre es, bueno, no sé si es igual, para mí es igual, mm. pero vea que la escritura sí es diferente, lleva una otra S. Tanto la escritura como la pronunciación son diferentes. Como ah, acaba de puntualizar, sí, lleva una S adicional, pero también la pronunciación es distinta. Acuerdo acá. You have. Por eso dije que para mí. No problem. Okay. So you say desert. The stress is at the beginning. This is a desert. And in the other one, you pronounce it desert. Dessert. That's postre. Okay, so remember when you say desert, desert, desierto, dessert, postre. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, any other questions about the vocabulary here? Una otra consulta, duda acerca del vocabulario? No question, teacher. No questions. Okay. Good. Lesson objective. Participants will listen to a conversation about geography. Comparison with adjectives will first be introduced. So, escucharemos una conversación sobre geografía. Adjetivos comparativos se escucharán durante la conversación por primera vez. Veamos acá. So, it's a conversation. Which is larger? Okay. ¿Cuál es más grande? Okay. Which is larger? So, there's the listening practice section. I need two volunteers to help me read this. Okay. Okay, so we're going to, okay, we're going, uh, all right, we're going to give priority to the ladies, ladies first. Okay, so we go with Wendy and Ruth Marielos. Okay, so uh, Wendy, you helped me read Mike's part. Okay, and Ruth Marielos, you helped me read Wendy's part, please. Teacher, I have a question. Ah, uh, yeah, what's your question? Uh, the pronunciation, the uh, geography. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Geography. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the question. Sure. Very question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? 
China or Canada? China or Canada. I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in this in the in the America? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? I am not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which so American capital city in the highest? It's the highest. Highest. La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Thank you very much, ladies. So the conversation goes like this, which is higher? Mike says, here's a geography quiz in the paper, in the newspaper. Wendy says, oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Mike says, sure. First question, which country is larger, China or Canada? I know, says Wendy, Canada is larger than China, okay? Antes que continuemos, what is the meaning of large? What is the meaning of large? ¿Qué significa large? Largo. Actually, no, it's not largo. It means grande. grande. Aha, that's right. Expectation. But don't worry, don't worry. Hago estas preguntas de todas maneras para corroborar estos detallitos. Okay. So uh, look, large, it's different. It's not the same when we say largo in Spanish. No, large actually means grande. So large is similar to big, which also means grande. So how do you say largo in English? You say long, okay? That will be largo, okay? So that's okay. All right, thank you for your participation. Let me go back. So uh, again, which country is larger, China or Canada? Wendy says, I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, good. Mike says, okay, next, next question. What's the longest river in the Americas? Okay, Wendy says, hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Mike says, here's a hard one. Okay, you're not difficile. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, more full of people? Monaco or Singapore? And Wendy says, I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Mike says, okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Wendy says, oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. So here's the conversation. Okay, and uh, here's the grammar we're going to study this time. So there's the lesson objective. By the end of this session, participants. Okay, uh, Marina. Teacher, entonces, highest se quiere referir. No sé a qué se quiere referir. No sé si es a que está más alto, más arriba. O... Más arriba, más alto. Okay. Mm -hmm. A nivel del mar. So, which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? And the answer is Bogota. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. Um, by the end of this session, participants will know how to ask and answer questions using comparisons with adjectives. Al final de esta clase sabrán cómo preguntar y contestar usando adjetivos comparative. So how does that work? So there's the grammar focus. Comparison with adjectives. Take a look. Which country is larger, Canada or China? You say Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City or Sao Paulo? The answer is Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. It's a volcano actually. So uh, there's the adjective category, the comparative form and the superlative, like when you say long, comparative longer, superlative the longest, dry, drier, the driest, big, bigger, the biggest, famous, more famous, the most famous, beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful, good, better, and the best bad, worse, and the worst. So how is that? Okay, we're going to study this in detail 
little by little, you, you know, section by section. Take a good look at this. The man is old. He says, I'm 92, 92 years old. But you see the lady, I mean, to zoom in. The lady says, I'm 93. That means that she's older than him, older, comparative. Now you see the second set of pictures, you have 40 kilograms. You know, that's heavy. But 50 kilograms is heavier, it's más pesado. And then you have the shoes. If you take a look at the shoes, that's $120. That's, that's expensive for shoes, $120, especially for ladies' shoes. But if you see the other one, it's $175. That is more expensive still. Okay, more expensive. Está más caro todavía. So that's the idea. So uh, the words older, heavier, and more expensive are comparative forms. The comparative is usually ER, for example, older, or more, and the adjective. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to study the comparative forms for one syllable adjectives. How does that work? It's not complicated when you think about it. Just take a good look. There are some rules. Hay unas reglas que tenemos que eh, seguir. So the first rule is add ER. That's the first rule. Add ER to the adjective. Normally the adjective, if it has only one syllable, and that's what you have right here, one syllable adjectives. Estas reglas que vamos a ver aplica únicamente a los adjetivos que solo tienen una sílaba. So one syllable adjectives, you add ER. For example, slow, it's a one syllable adjective becomes, sorry, old, it's a one syllable adjective becomes older. You just add ER. Slow, it's a one syllable adjective becomes slower. And nice, nice is another one syllable adjective that becomes nicer. But if you notice here, you add ER, older ER, slower ER, nicer, only the R. ¿Por qué no se le pone la I? Porque ya termina así de todas formas, nicer. So that's the first rule. The second rule goes, goes, goes like this. Now, when you have the final combination, consonant, vowel, and consonant, except for W, Add an extra consonant plus ER, okay? Again, this is for one syllable adjectives only, okay? Esto solo es para adjetivos que solo tienen una sílaba. If it ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant, except W, you have to add an extra consonant, and then you add ER. Examples include, look at this, I'm zooming in, big, big, right? Big has one syllable and it ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant. Okay, so the rule is done here. Okay, so big becomes bigger with double G because it was a one syllable adjective ending in consonant, vowel, and consonant. So that's bigger right there. Another example is hot. Hot. Hot is consonant, vowel, and consonant. Consonant H, vowel O, consonant T. So there you go. The comparative is hotter, hotter with a double T. And then you have thing, thing, delgado, okay? Thing. Thing, again, is a one syllable adjective that ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant. So. To make the comparative form, you have to add an extra consonant, that means another N, and then ER. Thin becomes thinner, okay? Before we continue, do you have any questions? Yes. Herbert. It's expensive for why not uh, uh, expensive, expensive? Expensive. Okay. No, that's expensive? because yes. that, that belongs to the other category. In this category, we were studying only one syllable adjectives like slow, slow, sorry, old, slow, nice, big, hot, and thing. But now we're going to study two or more syllable adjectives. Expensive is one of them because you have expensive. Expensive has three syllables. So that's why you don't add ER. This ER is only for one syllable adjectives. Okay. 
Ruth Marielos. Teacher, I have a question. What's your question? Um, a slower mm -hmm. is meaning más lento. Más lento. And more slowly is the más same. Le más lentamente. Because ah, okay. slowly is an adverb, not an adjective. Mm -hmm. Slowly is an adverb, no, no un adjetivo. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Thank All you. right, cool. You're welcome. So what happens when you have two syllable adjectives? Give me a second, please. I need to stand up. Okay, two syllable adjectives. Take a good look at this. Two syllable adjectives ending in Y, you have to change Y for I E R. Okay? If you have an adjective that has two syllables and the final syllable ends in a Y, you change Y for I E R. For example, you have, let me show you, easy. Easy, two syllables, E, Z, E, Z. So easy ends in Y, okay? So what do you have to do? You have to change Y for I, E, R. So easy becomes easier, más fácil. Then you have heavy, heavy is a two syllable adjective, heavy, heavy, two syllables right there. And it also ends in Y. So you have to change Y to I, E, R, heavier. Then you have early. Early is another adjective with two syllables. You say early, early, okay? So it ends in Y, so you change Y for I-E-R and you have earlier. And finally, you use more for adjectives with two or more syllables. If the adjective has two, three, four syllables or more, then you have to use more, okay? Like this. Careful, careful has three, two syllables, careful, careful. That's why the comparative form is more careful, okay? More careful. Lo que nos preguntaban hace un momento, expensive, expensive, expensive is an adjective with three syllables. You say expensive, okay? Expensive, so, the comparative form is more expensive. Then you have intelligent. Intelligent. Say intelligent. All right. Four syllables. So the comparative form is more intelligent. Just a second. Okay, and finally, you have interesting. Interesting. You say interesting. Four syllables. Interesting. So the comparative form is more interesting. Those are the rules. You have some examples. You say this jacket is okay, but I think the other one is nicer. La otra está más bonita. Helen wants to buy a bigger car. Helen quiere comprar un auto más grande. You can say, Susan doesn't like her job. She wants to do something more interesting. And you should be more careful when you drive. Debería ser más cuidadoso o más cuidadosa mientras manejas. You should be more careful when you drive. Before we continue, do you have any questions about this? Any questions? Alguna consulta, pregunta, duda, inquietud? No questions. Okay, Jaime. Por lo que entendí, teacher, también, bueno, yo sí tomo la idea. Cuando las oraciones son más largas, se va a utilizar more. No, cuando el adjetivo es más largo. Ah, ah ok, ajá, eso. El, cuando el adjetivo es más largo, se utiliza more. Cuando tiene dos sílabas o más. 
Uh -huh, exacto. Ex excepto cuando son dos sílabas, pero termina en Y. Entonces es la regla uh -huh. anterior, ¿verdad? Ok. All right, then. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. So we have the comparatives, the special cases. Take a good look at this. These are some irregular adjectives, okay? That means they don't follow the rules. Good is an irregular adjective because the comparative form is not gooder, that word doesn't exist. The comparative form is better. And bad is also an irregular adjective because the comparative form is not better. No, the comparative form is worse, as you can see right there. Examples. The weather wasn't very good yesterday, but it's better today. Está mejor hoy. Okay, it's better today. What about this? It's a conversation. Do you feel better today? And the other person says, no, I feel worse. Me siento peor, right? Something else that we need to know is the comparative of far. Basically, there are two words right here. The comparative form of far is farther. Okay, farther. Not father, verdad? See, not farther. But this is about distance. Aquí es el comparativo cuando estamos hablando de distancias. Example, you can say, we are almost at the beach. Just drive a little farther. So, seguí un poco más lejos, right? O maneja un poco más lejos. Just drive a little farther. But what about the other one? The other one is further. The pronunciation is slightly different. And you say further. Further means additional. That's the difference. Further means additional. Example, we need further examples. We need additional examples. We need more examples. That's the idea. Okay, so we have some exceptions right here. Fun. Uh, yes, Jaime. Uh, sorry, teacher. I had That's a okay. question. That's okay. Uh, ¿Qué significa father? El último de abajo. Father. For, further. Further. Further yes. means additional. Es decir, adicional o extra. Ah, ok. okay. Así que cuando Thank dicen, you. we need further examples, it is like, necesitamos ejemplos adicionales o necesitamos más ejemplos. Oh, ok. Mm -hmm. okay. That's further. Ok. Thank you. So, some exceptions to these rules include the adjective fun. Fun, que es divertido, ok. Now, ¿qué diríamos nosotros? Ah, va, vamos a seguir las reglas. Dijeron que era, solo tiene una sílaba y como termina en consonante, vocal y consonante, entonces es funner con doble E. Pero no, nada que ver. Ok, es irregular. The comparative form of fun is not funner. That word doesn't exist. The comparative form of fun is more fun. That's the comparative. He said, teacher, pero no tiene dos sílabas, ni tres. Es un caso excepcional. The comparative of fun is more fun. The same happens with real. Real has, a, has one syllable only, but the comparative is not realer. No, the comparative is more real, más real. Then you have bored, aburrido, right? Okay, the comparative of bored is not borderer. Okay, the comparative is more bored. These are some special cases right there. Saul. Teacher, my question is, out of this, uh, your explanation, mm -hmm. it's about when you say more brilliant or brillante or, or más... Más eh, encendido, no sé cómo se puede decir. Ah, no, that will be. Bright, sorry. Bright. Que es como brillante o encendido para lámparas o el sol, las estrellas, la luna. That's bright. Bright is a normal adjective. It follows the rules. ¿Cuál sería el comparativo? Vamos a ver. Brighter. brighter, correct. Brighter, because it only has one syllable. So you say brighter. Mm -hmm. Que es más brillante. That's brighter. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. All right. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so some ex uh, examples for the exceptions right here. Fun is more fun. So you say, I love the book, but the movie adaptation was more fun. Okay, me gustó el libro, pero la adaptación cinematográfica fue más divertida. Eso. Puede ser. Okay, so real, more real. You say, virtual reality makes video games more real. And you have bored. You say, yesterday she was bored. Today she is even more bored. Está todavía más aburrida. This. She is even more bored. So what are we going to do? We're going to do a few exercises. We still have like 20 minutes, so let's use them. So the first one is look at the pictures and write the comparative forms. For example, the first one is heavy. You know, 40 kilograms, that's heavy. What about 50 kilograms? What's that, Wendy? Heavier. It's heavier, that is correct. Okay, good. What about number two, Saul and then Ruth Marielo? Saul, number two, what is that? Big and the house next to it is? It's bigger. Bigger, okay, double G, okay, good. Thank you. Ruth Marielos, number three, you see the turtle is slow, but what about the snail? Slower. Slower, that's correct, okay, thank you very much. Uh, Claudia Maria, you have number four, $350 for a camera is expensive, but $470, that is? More expensive. More expensive, that's correct. Very good. Hi, Melanie. Okay, so number five, you have uh, high. You see the mountain on the left is high, but the mountain uh, on the right is? Higher. Higher, okay, está más higher. alta. Higher, correct. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Martinez, what about number six? You have dangerous. You see uh, the one on the left is dangerous, but the road on the right is? No? Okay, Carlos Alberto, raising your hand. Hi, Melanie. More dangerous. More dangerous. Okay, that's correct. So you see the examples here, heavier, bigger, slower, more expensive, higher, more dangerous. Okay. Test exercise is done. Now, what are we going to do? Write the comparative. Tiene que darme el comparativo. For example, heavy. Jaime, what is that? Heavier. Heavier. That's correct. Very good. For the next one, number two, strong. Who can who can give me? Okay, Claudia, and then Marina, and then Jaime, and then Rebecca, and then Saúl. Okay, mantenga su mano levantada, si no, no olvidar. Okay, so number two, Claudia. Stronger. Okay, good. Just the pronunciation is stronger, stronger. Okay, stronger, so, más fuerte. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Marina Esmeralda. What about happy? What's the comparative of happy? Happier. Happier, okay, yeah, it's happier with I-E-R. Very good, that's happier. What about number four? Okay, Jaime Adonai. Okay, ah, quienes ya me participaron pueden bajar la manita para que no se me acumulen. No es que me moleste que la tengan arriba, simplemente que se acumulan y después ya no puedo ver quién sigue. Okay, so uh, Jaime, ¿qué pasó? Jaime. All right, modern. What's the comparative? Uh -huh. Modern thing? Mm, no. no. Sorry, it's different. No, sorry. Let's see what Wendy Lisset has to say about it. What's the comparative of modern? More modern? More modern. Okay, that's correct. More modern because it has two syllables. Very good. Number five, who wants to try, please? More important. Okay, thank you, Saul. Siempre esperamos a que se nos dé la, la, la palabra. Okay, but <laughs> yeah, my, my that is correct. Something. Your name? Como así? Yeah. Okay, important, you have more important. Okay, thank there you. you go. Okay, thank you, Saul. What about number six? Jaime, good. Good, dear. No. Good. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Gooder. No, Gooder doesn't exist. Ah, yes. Braulio, what about this one? Creo que es como better. Better. Better, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's better right there. Okay, better. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, Marina, number seven, large. What's that? Largest. Largest. Largest with EST at the end? Largest? Or larger? Liar. Larger. Liar. Larger, okay, it's larger. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, compañeros, tratemos de participar de nuevo. Siempre cíclicamente se repiten, ¿verdad? Dan lo mismo, luego vuelven a participar los mismos cinco, luego vuelven a participar los mismos cinco, y así vamos. Tratan de participar. Sorry, I, I could not understand that. Ok, tratemos de participar. Va. Voy ahorita a darle palabra a algunos que no me han estado participando mucho, ¿verdad? A los que me están participando bastante, los felicito mucho, como siempre, pero quiero escuchar otras voces también. Ok, vamos. Rebeca Abigail, what about serious? More serious. More serious, that's correct. Very good. Uh, por ahí me habían levantado la mano y ya la bajaron otra vez. Okay, let's see. Uh, Saul, what about number nine and Braulio number 10? What about pretty, Saul? Most pretty, more pretty. More pretty. Actually, it's a bit different. Pretty is a two syllable adjective ending in Y. So, prettier? Prettier. prettier, prettier. That's it. Okay, the comparative form is prettier. Thank you. Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. What about crowded? What's the comparative of crowded? Uh, is crowded, teacher? How many syllables are there in crowded? Crowded. Uh, two? two syllables. So the rule says? Uh, o and I? No. No. Uh, more crowded. More crowded, that's correct. Okay, sorry, when an adjective sorry. has two or more syllables, then you use more, like more crowded. Okay, cool. I know, I know. No, don't worry, don't worry. Estamos aquí para aprender, todos juntos. No se preocupe. El error es parte natural del aprendizaje. No solo es natural, es necesario. Okay, so write the opposite, okay? Now you have to give me the opposite. All of them are comparative, so you have to give me the opposite comparative. For example, Ruth Marielos, what is the opposite of younger? Older. Older, that's correct. Okay, very good. Saul, what's the opposite of colder? Hotter. Hotter, that's right. Also warmer. Yeah. Okay, thank you. What about number three? Cheap, what's the opposite of cheap? Wendy. Expensive. Okay, expensive is the opposite of cheap. Okay, but what about, oh, sorry, yo leí mal. Cheaper, what's the opposite of cheaper? Um, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> you have the idea, you have to use the comparison, the, the comparative form. More, so, more, uh, more expensive or more, more expensive. cheaper? No, it's actually more expensive, okay? So the, the, the opposite of cheaper is more expensive. What about number four? Better, who wants to try? Luz Clara. Worse. Worse, okay, the comparative is worse. Thank you. Rebecca Abigail, number five, nearer. Neither, uh, excuse me, que significa neither? Closer. Closer. Mm -hmm. Más cerca, nearer. Más cerca, okay. Um, um, the longer? Mm, no, it's actually a bit different. Okay. Okay, excuse so it, it's okay, don't worry. So who knows the answer to this one? Paris, Paris. Okay, uh, will be farther. Farther. Yeah, 
Nearer, farther. That's the opposite right there. Okay. Ruth Marielos, number six. Easier. What's the opposite comparative form? Heavier. Heavier. Mm, no, not really. Um, easy. Easy is fácil. Yes. Uh -huh. what's, what's the opposite of easy? No, it's heavy. No, not exactly. Not Heavy means pesado. Okay, Braulio Heriberto. Let's see what Braulio has to say about it. Uh, it's more difficult. More difficult, or you can say harder also. Okay, harder okay. or more difficult. Okay, good. Thank you. Wendy Lisette, what about number seven? You have slower. What's the opposite comparative form? More slower, teacher? No, not possible. The opposite, lo contrario. Si decimos más lento, entonces lo contrario sería más Fast. Rápido. More okay. fast. Or faster. More, it's actually faster. Okay. okay. Faster. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about number eight? Lower. Lower. What do we have? Me, teacher. Like. Who's me? Okay, Saul. Higher. Higher, that's correct. Okay, very good, it's higher. What about number nine? Okay, smaller, Ruth Marielos. Longest? L not exactly, no. Because long means largo. Claudia uh, Maria, let's see what Claudia Maria has to say. Tall, tall, taller. Smaller, taller, not necessarily, not necessarily. Porque si hablamos de tall, y de, de, de bajitos y de altos, entonces el bajito es short. No, small, sino short. So you have to use a different material. So what, what is that? Let's see. Uh, wait a second, wait a second. In order, right? You need to raise your hand. Braulio Heriberto. Amen. Uh, more big teacher more big mm, but big is a one syllable oh. adjective ending in consonant y and consonant consonant vowel and uh, consonant bigger bigger double g okay also you <laughs> can say it's okay don't worry you can say bigger or you can say larger okay both work <laughs> and number 10 you have uglier okay so what about this one what's the opposite of uglier what is it? Prettier or nicer? ¿Quién está hablando? Perdón. Me, teacher, Wendy. Ah, Wendy, okay, okay. Prettier or nicer. Yeah, prettier could be one. Also, more beautiful. More beautiful. Okay. There you go. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's go for the next exercise right here. We're gonna try to do it very quickly. Complete the sentences, you have to use a comparative. So number one, Helen's car isn't very big. She wants a, what does she want? Ruth Marielos. Bigger. She wants a bigger car or a bigger one. Correct, very good. What about number two? My job isn't very interesting. I want to do something, volunteers? Claudia Maria. More inter interesting. <laughs> I want to do something more interesting. Okay, <laughs> more interesting. Okay, thank you, Claudia. What about number three? You're not very tall. Your brother is? Who wants to try? When did he say? No, yeah, when did he say? It, your brother is shorter? You. Okay, but take a look. You are not very tall. Tú no eres muy alto, dice. Tu hermano es? Taller. Taller. Yeah, that's right. Your brother is taller. Good. Saul, okay. Uh, David doesn't work very hard. I work. work I work harder. I work harder, yo trabajo más duro. Okay, so I work harder. Thank you. 
Uh, number five. Who wants to try? Okay, Claudia Maria then. Okay, so my chair isn't very comfortable. Yours is? More comfortable. More comfortable. Okay, that's right. Okay, number six. Volunteers, please. Who wants to try? Okay, Jaime. Your idea isn't very good. Uh, I don't know, teacher. Come on. Intentemos. Um, there is no gither. No. Mm, no, sorry. Okay, oh. let's see what Ruth Marielos has to say. Is better? My idea is better. Yeah, my idea is better. Okay, number seven. This house isn't very nice. Our house, Braulio. Our house is um, nicer. The house is, our house is, okay, so this house isn't very nice, our house is nicer. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. Okay, so who's next? Wendy, okay. De nuevo, volvemos a los mismos cinco de toda la vida. Bye. Demás, tratemos de participar. Uh -huh. So my suitcase, my isn't, suitcase very heavy. isn't very heavy. Your suitcase is heavier. Heavier. Your suitcase is heavier. Suitcase. Okay. Your suitcase is heavier. Thank you very much. Okay, Wendy. What about number? Okay, uh, Braulio. Number nine. I'm not very interested in art. I am. Uh, uh, more interested in history. I am more interested in history. Good. Number 10. Uh, Saul. It isn't very warm today. It is very warm today. It was mm -hmm. warmer yesterday. It was warmer yesterday. Correct. Very good. So uh, number 11, Jaime. These tomatoes don't taste very good. The other ones tasted? Better. Better. Okay, that's correct. Thank you. Number 12. Okay, Ruth Marielos. Britain isn't very big. France is um, bigger. France is bigger. Okay, yeah, that's right. France is bigger. Number 13. Okay, who can help me with the next one? No, I quiero diferentes. No, esta vez no quiero ni a Saúl, ni a Jaime, ni, ni a Ruth Marielos, ni... O sea, los, los, los admiro mucho, pero, pero hoy quiero gente diferente. ¿va? Vamos a ver, René Giovanni. Tengo que aprovechar ahorita. René Giovanni, luego Doribel, luego Laura Concepción, de ahí Luz Clara. Ok, René Giovanni. Number 13. Los Angeles isn't very beautiful. Is more beautiful. San Francisco is more beautiful. Okay, thank you. Doribel Areli. Okay, this knife isn't very sharp. The microphone, Doribel. The microphone. Sorry. It's okay. Um. Sharper. Do you have a sharper? Sure. Uh -huh. yeah. A sharper one? Tienes uno más afilado? Okay, do you have a sharper one? Thank you. Laura Concepcion, number 15. People today aren't very polite. Um, more poli polite? In the past, they were more polite. That is correct. Okay, very good. Now, uh, we're going to stop here, but first I need to call the attendance of some people here. Dara, da, Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tovar. Are you here, Damaris? Damaris, no está. Uh, Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Present teacher, present. Thank you, thank you very much. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline 
Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Okay. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Okay. All right, listen, we're going to stop here. Vamos a parar acá por esta noche. Recuerden, por favor, ir trabajando en los ejercicios de la plataforma. Ya estamos en la sección número cuatro, que es la que vamos a ver esta semana, para concluir la siguiente con la sección número cinco y el final exam. Okay, so everybody, thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes, tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Take Good night. See you.